With over $25 million in lifetime live tournament earnings, Daniel Coleman is fourth on the all-time money list, and he's in a great position to add to that massive number as one of the chip leaders on Day 5 of the 2016 World Series of Poker main event. Curb Player TV caught up with him on a break to learn more about his strong start to the day. Yeah, to start the day, I this one older gentleman that I played with yesterday, he played pretty tight the whole day. I started off the day playing versus him, where I overbet bluffed the river. Right, there's straights out there, flushes. Right away, he called me with a pair of kings, and it was like pretty much for his whole stack. So a couple hands later, I open pocket jacks. He defends. I could tell like we had that dynamic after he called me right away. I bluffed. So there is some dynamic there that we're gonna be playing pots versus each other. I open pocket jacks. The flop is jack five three with two spades. I bet out. He raises me. I call. The turns a king. He bets again, I call, rivers an ace, he checks. I go all in right away, he beats me into the pot. He has king three, two pair. He had a fluster on the flop too, so I took a stack there, and then from there, going up and down, but staying around 4.3, 4.4. Coleman has won some huge tournaments, including the 2014 $1 million buy-in, big one for one drop. We asked him for his thoughts on having a large stack deep in the biggest poker tournament in the world. Yeah, it, it feels good. I treat like any other tournament. This one just has a lot of players in it and there's a lot of money up top. But same thing, I determine my strategy based on the players at the table, how they perceive me, it's just like any other tournament. You probably knew that Coleman was a ninja on the felt, but did you know that he was off it as well? We asked him for a story behind this nunchuck video that he posted earlier this summer. Yeah, I'm not that good at nunchucks. I just been mess I bought a pair, started messing around with it. I watched YouTube videos, learned how to sling them around. Um, yeah, it's just something fun, and as you do it, you get better and better. It's funny, it's actually my ADHD. Whenever I'm doing something, I have to be multitasking. So I'll be on the phone, I'll be playing around with nunchucks. Just whatever I'm doing, I'm always multitasking. So the nunchucks come in handy for that. Make sure to stay tuned to Card Player for more coverage of the 2016 WSOP main event.